time customer of the Bottle Bar. Someone who rarely comes up to the golden microphone. So this evening we'd like to go ahead and give a big new island gold for Christine. your part to answer. Woo! Right? Yeah. I'm going to get lazy and do sit down comedy. Is that okay? Instead of stand up, I'm just going to do sit down. Ah, uh, peeps, Kava peeps. I have issues. I have issues. I have some serious issues. I hate homeless people. I, I have to admit it. I have to be really honest. I have worked hard for everything I've ever had in my life and never had any help. So nothing gets me more mad when someone comes up to me and asks me for something for nothing, you know? And what is it with homeless people holding up cardboard signs all the time, you know? I lost my job, I'm down on my luck, you know? We'll work for food. I have fucked up shit that happens in my life, but I don't put it on cardboard signs. I'm 29 and still single. <laughs> we'll work for therapy. <laughs> I haven't been laid in five years. Please, buy me a hooker. <laughs> oh, but I'm working on this. I'm working on it. Um, I went to a gas station about a month ago, and uh, this dirty, cracked out homeless lady came up to me and asked me for money. So uh, I felt like God was telling me to just be nicer, you know, work on these issues. So uh, I gave her $20, which is a lot to those people. Yeah, yeah. So I figured this $20 was just totally going to change things for her. So uh, about a month later, I go back to the same gas station, and she comes up to me and asks me for money. And I'm like, bitch, I already gave you $20. What did you do with it? Did you put it on the stocks? Did you put it on horses? You clearly did not buy shoes with it. What did you buy with it? Oh, crack, of course. That's a sound investment. <laughs> Uh, I have issues. I have issues. I think this is why I have difficulty getting into a relationship. And, uh, you know, I want to be in love. Everybody wants a crowd applause. Who wants to be in love? Yeah. Woo! Wants to be in love, you know? Because love, when you're in love, it's like a party, you know? You get crazy. You're taking your clothes off. You're yelling, Woo! I'm in love! I'm in love! But when love leaves, it's like the party is over. You know, you wake up the next day and you're throwing up and your, your house is trashed and I can't find my fucking pants. <laughs> you know, and you have to face the consequences, you know. But it's, it's hard to make a relationship work, you know, because men and women are so different. Am I right? Yes. Men and women are so yes. different. Talk for me, people, please. I need a little help. <laughs> you know, like, like women, we need love and emotion and all that kind of good stuff for sex. You men, you'd fuck a pie. No, seriously. <laughs> that movie, American Pie, was not that far fucking fetched. You guys have not spent a lot of time thinking about that. You guys walk around the house looking for shit to fuck all the time. <laughs> Some of you are thinking of shit to fuck right now. This guy right here is thinking of at least five things. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, see, women, we don't do that. We don't walk around the house looking for shit to fuck. No, no, we don't. We're not scouting the house for like curling irons and fence posts and rolling pins in the kitchen baking a pie. I'm gonna fuck the shit out of you later. We, we don't do that, no, no. But uh, sex is complicated, you know? I mean, my cousin said to me the other day, she's like, Christine, you know, isn't it? awkward when you first take a guy home and uh, you get a look at his package, you know, how you never know what you're going to get because penises are just so funny looking, you know, and I'm like, no, no, I don't because uh, I haven't seen a penis in so long, I don't think I'd recognize one in a lineup, in a police lineup, no, no, it's just something like this. Yes, officer, it's number four, no, number four, please step forward. Ma'am, that's a 10-speed bike. <laughs> Sure. Are you sure? Because I think that's a penis. <laughs> no, ma'am. That's 10 speed. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I've written both, but it's you know, I uh, But love is hard to find, but I crush pretty hard, you know?
<laughs> Ladies, have you ever liked a guy so much you put on makeup just to call him? <laughs> okay. I mean, you brush your teeth to send him a text message. Yes. <laughs> you will not leave the house without a bikini wax, just in case. <laughs> uh, I had a date with a guy recently that I was crushing on pretty hard, and uh, after a few days of not calling me, I called my friend Kim and I started to freak out. I'm like, Kim, you know, we had fun, why didn't you call me? You know, what's up with that? And she's like, Christine, Christine, you know, you gotta be patient, you gotta relax. I said, Kim, I want love. I want crazy love. I mean, by this point in the relationship, my corpse should be stuffed in a 55 gallon drum while he violates my shoes. <laughs> I know, I know. Well, I couldn't take the weight anymore, so uh, I came clean and I told him how I felt, you know. Woo! I was like, you know, I'm really crushing on your heart and stuff like that, you know. I'm, I'm a little crazy about you. <laughs> and he's like, oh, you know, that's sweet, but uh, you're like a sister to me. <gasps> Ouch, right? Like a sister? Ouch. I was hoping for the whole you know, uh, Leia and Han thing, I get Luke and Leia, right? <laughs> Thanks, Star Wars geeks, for backing me up. Thanks, you know what I'm talking about. I'm like, like a sister. I'm like, so, any chance you want to move to Alabama so I can have your babies? <laughs> uh, but I wear my heart on my sleeve. It is my kryptonite, you know? My cousin keeps telling me, Christine, you gotta keep a man on his toes. Keep a man on his toes. I said, Coley, the only way I know how to keep a man on his toes is to tell him to stand up when I'm blowing him. <laughs> oh, I am not so subtle. <laughs> but uh, I think it was a really, really good thing that I told him how I felt, you know. I gave him his stuff back and uh, I moved out. And um, he took it really, really well. Because he actually didn't know I was living with him until he got the police report for breaking and entering. But in my defense, I was putting everything back. <laughs> you know, I think once this silly little restraining order thing is cleared up, I think we're good to go. <laughs> I'm Christine, and if you don't know me, buy me a shell. Thank you.